Hello and welcome back to another Cozy Tarot Sunday reading. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today's Cozy Tarot Sunday reading is for February 7th to the 13th. As always, I will be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel for the self-care portion of the reading. We have our trusted Rider Waite Smith Tarot deck. And if you are new, this is the reading that I do. So it's the week ahead reading with the focus for the week. What's needed to embrace the focus, what's needed to let go of, and of course, the self-care for the week because self-care is very important. So let's get to shuffling and see what the week has in store for us all. Let's see here. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> And then self-care for the week. So in the first position of what to focus on, we have the Seven of Cups. Now, the focus for this week is about getting through indecision. So maybe, uh, you know, there's a decision that you've been trying to make, but you've come to a standstill on what to do about it. So the Seven of Cups it, like the imagery in the seven of cups, as you can see, like there's different cups. Some things are good. Some things are bad. The imagery is suggesting that there's a lot of things that you have to consider. And weighing out your pros and cons can actually help to narrow down the decision. And it could also allow you to stay more present in the reality of things. So with the Seven of Cups, you don't want to get caught up in that uh, illusion of it all. It's about being re realistic, right? And when you're being realistic, that's literally the best way to make a decision. So in the um, next position of what to embrace, we have the hanged man. So you want to look at all the sides and perspectives when making decisions, you know, doing this is an advantage that you need to embrace. So looking at all sides, looking at all perspectives is what you need to embrace. Because when you don't, you know, you spend a lot of time in indecision. You spend a lot of time in uncertainty and there's no movement forward. Like you're not going anywhere, right? Which is what I said with the Seven of Cups of being at a standstill, right? And you don't want that. You want to embrace all the sides and the perspectives to be able to move forward. So what you need to embrace is to look at all the sides, see what type of sacrifices with the hangman that you need to make, depending on the decision, and find a way forward. So you want to look at all the sides, that way you can make a final decision and be able to move forward in whatever it is you're trying to do. Now, in the third position of what to let go, we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, you want to let go of guardedness, like being guarded. The Four of Pentacles is usually about saving money and whatnot. But in, in regards to this situation of making decisions, you know, you're being closed off during decision making. And when you're closed off, you can miss a lot of the different pros and cons that you get with the Seven of Cups, with uh, the Hanged Man and looking at different sides and different perspectives. And this is really because you're not opening yourself up to more perspectives. So you need to let go of this to be able to embrace this and embrace this to move forward. So you really want to make sure that you're really focusing on 
whatever that decision making is. And you're really looking at all sides and all perspectives in order to make a final decision this week, once and for all, because I think you're still too much at a standstill and maybe you're spending too much time on this particular decision making. Now, it's great not to rush things. Don't get me wrong. Rushing decisions, not always the best thing, but when you actually finally embrace that moment of sitting down and really taking the time to look at all the perspectives and and opening yourself up to those perspectives too, it really allows you to uh, make decisions a bit faster or at least not allow yourself to just be stuck at a standstill. Lastly, we have the self-care for the week. So we have the Emperor. Now, of course, I'll be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel. The self-care activities are in terms of mind, body, and spirit. Take what resonates with you when it comes to the self-care activities. If none of these resonate, just do something self-care related for yourself because it is very important. So in terms of mind, it's difficult to be productive and focused when working in a chaotic, messy environment. Make time to clean up your workspace, tidy your desk, deep clean your drawers, and organize your paperwork. You will feel so much better. In terms of body, the Emperor encourages self-discipline and self-improvement. Use this card as inspiration to make a small, healthy change to your diet. Consider hydrating more often, cutting out soda, or asking your doctor for vitamin recommendations to support your overall wellness. In terms of spirit, now is a great time to address power struggles in your life with confidence and a level head. Value and respect yourself enough to make sure your needs are being met by loved ones, employers, and anyone else who plays a role in your daily life. So those were the self-care activities. Again, pick what resonates with you. And don't forget to follow your COVID guidelines if you do any of these activities. So that was the Cozy Tarot Sunday reading for February 7th to the 13th. Of course, take what resonates with you. Not all readings will resonate. Let me know in the comments what resonated, what didn't. Love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. Thanks so much and have a great week.